Hello and welcome. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Um, how are you guys doing? This is the first week of the year that is almost over. How is the new year resolution going? Hope we're sticking to those plans that we wrote down. Anyway, this is an entertainment analysis show in case you're joining us for the first time. And nobody does it better than us, if I do say so myself. While sipping tea, we serve you with the hottest news, celebrity breakdown, and everything pertaining lifestyle. If it's hot, it gets on this table. Um, anyway, and to do all that talking with me and get, keeping it jiggy with me is the follow us, Shike and in your lab, baby. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, How's it going? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Give it's them. Bad. Give it it's to them. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you guys blessed. Mm. Mm. Nice Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. Nice, nice. Please, how was yesterday? How was, yeah. How's your day Same been? Old. <clears throat> same old? Uh -huh. What does that mean for you? Because if you ever say same old, I don't know. But if you say same old, what does mm -hmm. that mean? Went home, slept. <laughs> was was ne Netflix. Yeah. Not even Netflix. Traffic yesterday. Mm. Netflix is trips for. <laughs> <laughs> Come then, on. Then, this next is New Year. You can start attacking me. Please. Oh, okay. So New Year, we're going to step up from Netflix as I is watching Netflix. Did I give you a Netflix recommendation last year? Yeah, but so, we, what we're trying we to say is that. Trips last year. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you say go, you're going out is Netflix now. So is that going to be, is that going to change I this year? My going out means going to a pool party. Not oh. Going to a movie, remember. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, Ife? Yeah, I said that. Mm. Watch the video. I, I said that. I love for mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're expecting more pool parties this year. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean COVID, but. Sha, you shall go out, Sha. Sure. That's the. You know, ask me what's up. Mm. Yeah, what's up with you, Fen? Who created? I you, somebody you... created. Somebody made this um, Eddie Kai console. Mm. Mm. I made it with a bar. You know, I go on, mm. made a bar. I actually went to the kitchen, made a bar. You know, mm. Eddie Kai console soup was on point, mm -hmm. bottle of cook. Charlie, I didn't sleep. Charlie. Mm. Hey. When it takes you to Ghana oh, back, then you know that you need so something like nice. Mm -hmm. you, I said you've gone to Ghana with your Charlie and going <laughs> back to Nigeria. So the food must be really nice. It was nice, no doubt about it. But did I sleep? And what? When I say I did not sleep. Why? You know, I was in the White House. I was communicating with... Um, uh, what's his name now? Um, Donald, Donald Trump is not in the White House. Mm -hmm. What's uh, his name? Joe Biden. Joe Biden, yes. Oh, I was a Biden all, all night. Wow, like, are you serious? We're just gisting. Imagine. Oh, all the night. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you guys don't know what I mean, right? <laughs> I, 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 I think so. Would I know what you mean? The White yeah. House. Mm hmm if it's going global right now, it's going global. But you know what I mean. Mm. Move on, move okay, on. Okay, okay. Um, no, no, enough of the White House talk. Just move we'll on. Get, well, I want to know this just maybe when we go on the break. Anyway, Nollywood wow. actress Dami Lola Adigbite has touched on a topic many shy away from. The movie star took to her Instagram page on Monday to advise people to be careful of who they seek counsel from. This is especially because majority of mo motivational speakers who come on social media to offer advice and act like they know it all are hiding a lot from those who don't know them well enough, mm -hmm. which makes sense. So she went around on, on her Instagram post to also mention how um, she basically met a motivational speaker. And I guess that person, I guess she saw something that most people wouldn't see on a normal day and then just got over the whole motivational speaker thing but i want to i want to ask your opinions first do you think that you need to know everything about your motivational speaker to be motivated before you can be motivated i think mm -hmm. even a, a a crazy man on the street can motivate you sometimes mm. sometimes you don't need a motivational speaker so be saying be careful sometimes people experiences in life will motivate you mm -hmm. do you understand like i was speaking to somebody yesterday and i told him about um a story how i shared it with somebody and if it doesn't feel like i casted him he said no i just said because i think your story is inspiring mm. and i just had to share it he's not a motivational speaker mm. he just shared with me his experience mm. do you understand and then the outcome of that experience so i think we learn from different things mm -hmm. from everybody so sometimes though i read another quote somewhere saying that be careful of people you take um, or you go to for counsel, especially those that haven't helped themselves and you think they mm. can help you with their own. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So sometimes see, you have to be careful. So I agree with them, them Lola Debite, okay. but at the <coughs> same time, anybody can inspire anybody. Yeah. I, I think, okay. I think um, from my personal experience, motivational speaking is not a big thing outside as much as it is here. Mm. Mm. Um, it's a job. I, 
and mm -hmm. obviously here because we the need it. like it's uh, it's a harder life here so i guess you need things to yeah. just you up a lot more um <laughs> but i've noticed that this is now just my personal experience i've noticed mm -hmm. that the people that that do a lot of that motivational speaking whatever when you meet them in person yeah, eh, they're the most toxic people the people on my t on my twitter that go advising 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 they are the most toxic people i know they're horrible people in real life and all of that but it, this reminds me of the conversation i used to try and push i remember we had influencers come online uh, come on the table mm -hmm. and online when we were talking about NSAs, and i was saying is there a problem with um performative activism like is there a problem when people they don't really stand for what they stand for, but they are there and all of that. And I remember mm -hmm. the response to them was that performative um, um, activism helps the movement mm -hmm. because we need the numbers and all of that. So based on that, even I don't really agree, but I guess they are the ones that were more involved and had more authority about the conversation. I will learn from that one and bring it to this conversation and say, if your performative motivation is helping people and you're crap in real life and you haven't actually helped mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. I would say go ahead and continue to do that. Mm -hmm. I would say that, I, honestly. Because... No one is truly excellent at everything mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. So just because you're a fantastic um, lo lawyer doesn't mean that you might not be a sloppy cook mm -hmm. or a sloppy husband. Okay. Or, or you or, motivate me to be a fantastic true. lawyer. Exactly. And if you can relate to what the person does and yeah. what this person is actually doing, you're like, okay, it's the right thing. Mm. But I think where she's, where she's trying to come from is, you know, some people actually worship um, this mo some motivational speakers. Mm. Like everything they do, you want to relate your life to it. Mm. You don't even sit back and think like, is this thing really um, applicable to this, me? Yes, mm. this thing really applicable to me? Because I have a, a friend that is like that. She has, I won't mention the person's name, but this person is really big Please in the society. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure any <laughs> so and literally if you want to offend i just say okay this person is is not correct or this person is um, not mm. crazy I am not mentioning names. <laughs> <laughs> or you say this person is not accurate. She's going to fight you on it because mm. everything the person does is perfect in her right. eye. So I just feel, let's be more realistic. If you um, envision someone or if you see someone as your motivation, that's because you think and reason like, okay, this person, what's this person doing? Is it right? Or mm. is it, should I actually adopt this? Yeah, I guess, I guess the real tug of war with the conversation mm -hmm. is, is there now a difference between that and hypocrisy? Because, you know, if I guess we're all hypocritical at the end of the day, but you, you, that starts to come into play that is it hypocritical for me to sit there? And I mean, that's one of the biggest issues I have with religion is that mm -hmm. most of the time you go to church, they want me to mm -hmm. feel why in this like spiritual world sure. and we're such saints and blah, blah, blah. But that time, like you're so evil, like, like in the back of the house, you're doing the worst things that... You know, and that was that, that for me is a big turn off. You see, I don't have that type of leisure. I don't have space for that. I don't give them a lot, a lot of grace to be that hypocritical. So then, should we do the same I thing for motivational had this speakers? Conversation with this pastor, You're like take the message and don't think about what the person is doing at the back. Yeah. Yeah. I would say take the message. And I think I would be wrong with that. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people that don't actually have. Um, a good um what's it called now reputation mm -hmm. but they say some very intelligent stuff and sometimes mm -hmm. you find out that those intelligent stuff are applicable to you are they practicing what they preach mm -hmm. i really do not care yeah but then you see how do you follow something that the person that's telling you has not even been able to do but does it work for you is this something that is applicable to your mm -hmm. life that's the question you need to answer for yourself not even every piece of advice is really important you know mm -hmm. somebody can sit with you and advise you for two hours and only 10 minutes of their talk oh accent. yeah mm -hmm. most nigerian parents are like <laughs> <laughs> okay. i'm sorry okay mom okay 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 uh, okay that okay. one and then the rest i'm like okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sure he has to do this too ah, I for you. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. most nigerian yeah. parents ah, are yeah. no, go on and on and on and on and is that a small little mm. Should I just, just be careful? Mm -hmm. Hey, you take that one. But the one of, ah, you have to be like this when I was your age. We used to give you an example. Okay. That, okay. Yeah, that that license is not applicable anymore. Mm -hmm. Upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's move on to the next conversation. Mm -hmm. I think we've kind of dealt with that one.